I'll trade away production. I was like, no, I'm not touching this without having it. It's like a bula la me. Exactly. It's not me. It's me. Me. Yeah. It's a bula la me. Chal na. Everybody reaches on time, so it's not like oh, uh, Ranveer and Alia will not be there for rehearsals. Everybody is there. Like, uh, my my salary was seven thousand rupees a month. Hello and welcome to Binge Buddies. In today's episode of Candid Conversation, we are speaking with the actor who rose to fame from the movie Gully Boy. It's none other than Nakul Roshan Sahdev. Before we proceed, do not forget to subscribe to Binge Buddies. Hi Nakul, welcome to Binge Buddies. Hi Saurabh, thank you so much for inviting me. So with respect to your on-screen presence, I remember yeah. seeing a bit of you on TV which was a Disney show called Ishan. Uh, MTV Fana these are college days yeah um then right. talking about short stories you've done quite a few and and of course right. quite different from each other so that's another part and uh, talking yeah. about films uh, yeah we saw you very first in uh, we didn't kill mia uh, yeah. then gully boy of course salman such a yeah. dear character and very recently yeah. as aditya in paglet now you have done a lot of work you you already are in the industry for let's say 5 plus years very easily more than that to be honest no no more than that i think 8 yeah. to 9 years exactly less than a decade i was not yeah. sure on the number you yeah you finished your schooling in udaipur uh, after right. schooling you moved to mumbai for, to get your professionally learn acting and and pursue this career now Correct. my first question is i want to understand after graduating from wrestling boards yeah did you have yeah. a mentor or a guide figure till you reached and landed your first project or was it all by mm, yourself and you know going through that cycle so i remember quite frankly so i remember finishing the college uh-huh. and i was like yaar ghar to nahi baithe hain right you know that's the first thing like just take me on a job yeah and uh, you learn from uh, the experience of others especially your seniors what they are up to and everything so i was like Okay, assisting casting director is not a bad idea, you know, because at the end of the day, you stand behind the camera and you give cues. Right. I'm like, okay, so I just uh, took few casting directors' number from the seniors and I started right. dialing them. Hello, ma'am, sir. Yeah. I am a graduate from this film school. Whatever, I know a bit, bit of editing, so I can edit your auditions also and everything. So now when he said, okay, come join me, mm-hmm. so th- that was straight after 20 days uh, after finishing my film school. Nice. And I was like, okay, twenty days break. I also need for myself because once you get done with your college, you want to go back with, to your family and spend some time there. And so that happened. And then after that, uh, Sir Rachlis had this television department called Rachlis Idiot Box, mm-hmm. and they were remaking Foggy. Okay. So Foggy Two. Yeah. Uh, and while they were filming that in the production, uh, the pre-prod for Ishan was going on. So in short, that's how I got uh, Ishan. So right. which uh, happened, uh, I think, over a period of four to five months after I completed my uh, degree from Western yeah. Goods. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So till that time, I was assisting on Zindagi Na Milegi Dubara and Game in casting department. Right. With Excel. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I. That's what I read, and I wanted to just confirm that you did uh, work in casting department, assisting yeah. with uh, Excel Entertainment, which is Farhan Akhtar, Ritesh Adwani. you uh, yeah. as you mentioned red chilies of course is it also true you did a bit of uh, work yeah. within casting department with dharma as well uh, yes so after finishing uh, ishan season 1 uh-huh. I, i i told you like i can just cannot sit idle that's like take it as a curse <laughs> or take it as an whatever maybe that is the reason why i am here where i am uh-huh. uh, so i was like okay what to do so you call back on your safety net you're like hi nandini i am free is there a project going on it's not about money like uh, My my salary was seven thousand rupees a month, mm-hmm. which was I used to say my my cigarette expenses more than my salary. <laughs> But you know when your mind is <laughs> when your mind is active yeah. and um, is engaged, you I personally feel I'm more productive, right? Rather than sitting idle and mm-hmm. then the thoughts uh, which sort of creep into your head is not a uh, space I like to be in. Nice. I I went through while my while my research and you mentioned this quite a few times that being yeah. a loner or in other words being present with yourself has helped yeah. you immensely to be productive yeah. and realize what your own potential is but you know yeah. this this kind of 
a uh, thought process not everybody agrees with so if you have to yeah. list down maybe three things uh, that is like the pros of being with yourself better than in a group what what would be that first and the foremost important thing is you start uh, taking care of yourself and understanding yourself in a much better way so mm-hmm. there is no um, there is no point of view of any third one so to say that they say okay what you the steps what you are taking is right or wrong mm-hmm. since the starting what i mean it, it becomes difficult because you know you sort of you cannot say oh this happened because of that one or this right. one that's a very mm-hmm. easy way out yeah slowly you start taking responsibility like okay i did this i signed this project mm-hmm. now if i'm not happy with this this is my bad if i get something out of it it's my good right that's a very important space to be in you are into into the business of cinema you have a lot of idle time no matter how much you try to fill in yeah. but if you're always surrounded by people it's that chatterbox which sort of makes your identity mm-hmm. where yeah. if when in a retrospect when you look back what whatever i created if not mm-hmm. success at least if i created an individual right so that that is where my main focus was so right. these two things and third thing um, after those uncomfortable uh, weeks or months yeah. you slowly and gradually start utilizing your time in a much better way mm-hmm. because you're like okay abhi hai mere paas 8 ghante right. so what new things can i learn correct you know so uh, that is what I call by being a loner that is true that is true. that's why that's why i immediately said like i know you don't mean it like literally it's more about being present with yourself more than surrounded with people all the time as not to get influenced right, and right, right. to understand that reason that's very well put actually thank you for that i came across in your profile a lot of yeah. uh, working out videos and uh, i must say you got yeah. a very nice physique it's very important we uh, we get into a space of we understand our body and our mind and we can work uh, and uh, in a sense of we can synchronize these two right. so previously when i used to work out and you go to a classic gym training i yeah. frankly i used to get very bored uh-huh. and then uh, so boxing i used to do previously and then when i was introduced to mma right. it's it, it's a different thing so i always tell my uh, whoever i know i like if you want to get be into fitness obviously you have to do certain amount of weight training but the basic understanding of your of your body become immense your you become more agile which is more important as an actor rather than to be a log of wood you know what i mean right so right. that's where fitness uh, comes into a picture lovely let us talk about gully boy now there are there are okay couple of questions i have you played the part of salman in that movie what was the most difficult aspect for yourself while preparing for that character so salman is in my head and the, what i discussed with zoya is uh-huh. all about uh, being always there without expecting anything in return like never you right. will you throughout the journey you would have never seen salman uh, expecting anything you know something which you just do for your friend like yeah. when you when you thick friends right you just you just do it's like it doesn't come across so the the naivety in sense of um, uh, as a human being which is very mm-hmm. important so uh, one thing which i kept this guy has no hidden agendas for mm-hmm. anything mm-hmm. that's why there are so many stupid little things he do right is as simple as that he enjoys spending i'll tell you a, a, a very small scene right uh, he he enjoys spending time with his friends so he's like are ghar ja ke padhai kar dena yeah where he doesn't take notes it's all for him it's all about being with his friends so right. you know the uh, the i think the only uh, sort of greed he has in his life is uh, if he can keep his friends along with him till for, for life yeah that friend in the group where you call him at 2 am and he's there for you it's it salman is yeah. that person you know he he's not going to yeah. pick up a phone and say are yaar kitna baje he'll be like kidhar aana hai and that is right. the kind of friendship salman shows and that's beautiful i am sure now gully boy was your first like you know that mainstream film which gives you right. like a huge right. amount of exposure you're working with the it becomes partner. your visiting card in the industry more or less in, in the simplest form it becomes that that stamp or that oh gully boy that way what i want to understand is what did you take from each of your co stars that one thing which you were like oh this i need to pick up this i really admire anything with any of your co stars if you can share i'll start with ranveer yeah um okay the biggest thing to take away from that guy is 
the amount of involvement he has uh-huh. okay a simplest example yeah. so when we are filming yeah. uh now there are so many times you have been on i mean i have been on so many sets where the actors will not give the cues if they are not in the camera that i mean the ad can give it they can go and rest in the vanity right. i have not seen and we even doing that once i remember i was shooting the uh, it was my first day on set and we were shooting the the train scene where we are chilling in the train and yeah. uh, there was one expression it's just that one beat you know mm-hmm. which i was not getting it i think it was two or three takes mm-hmm. and he took me on the side and he was like yaar tujhe pata hai jab main nahi band baja barak kar di na maine a seat ek di the something something he said oh, now okay he didn't have to do that right, right. you know what i mean yeah, you can yeah. be i mean there is the entire ex production more than that zoya is there everybody is there yeah. he's that guy who who makes everyone feel comfortable on set mm-hmm. and that's that is one of the most important thing as a co-actor you mm-hmm. have to do so see that's why there are yeah. you know films like gully boy where you see everything just flowing right and then you have other films where you, if you have those distance that does translate to screen no matter how hard you try but mm-hmm. those those indifferences does translate that to screen absolutely uh zoya uh, so zoya is the one who make the entire entire process of film making very uh, democratic in the sense that uh, when you come on on rehearsals mm-hmm. so everybody reaches on time so it's not like oh uh, ranveer and alia will not be there for rehearsals everybody is there so what happens is when the director at least it happens with me if you uh-huh. ask me to do something uh-huh. directly without hearing me out Mm-hmm. i will always perform that scene with a space of not complete satisfaction maybe you are right you're absolutely mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. but at the same time if you hear me out whatever my ideas are and then you're like okay napul you know keep these two remove these six keep these or all six or remove everything now mm-hmm. here is a fresh approach yeah. all that is fine see once what you have in your mind if you have emptied it out mm-hmm. then you are an empty vessel then probably you know my mind and my body will start taking right. it Right. Zoya understands that. Zoya really understands actors. Nice, nice. And uh, yeah, Alia, something when you're working with her, you're like, "Ha, ho gaya." Now you know, like, it's not something. Oh, she did something very different. This, that. But when you watch it, uh-huh. it's like, "Oh fuck, how she did it." Right. You know, like uh, uh, a classical example I'll give you. Uh, have, have you seen? Uh, if you follow football, have you seen Messi play? Uh huh. You know, so, right. w- without. when he's playing it's like acha ha theek hai he's not ronaldo he you will not do <laughs> see him doing lot of tricks and yeah, stuff like yeah, that yeah, yeah. but when you see that in recap and like how oh, the fuck did he score yeah. that goal that is alia for you that's where you start performance. analyzing the skills and lot of other aspects of the flow of that yeah 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 nice nice yes very well put correct there is one deleted scene later i saw uh, it came uh, somewhere on youtube or somewhere i saw where uh, you and ranveer go to college canteen and then there are this yeah all bombay kids come in now what i noticed in that hardly a minute minute long clip that is you also did a lot yeah. of work on your dialect because that's not yeah. that's not the hindi we like bombay definitely has mumbai speaks a very different kind of hindi compared to all other states or parts of the country gardulle hai right. ya hum was that one dialogue you had yeah. Yeah. but the way you put it out is there is anger yeah. in the eyes as if you or yeah. you are definitely offended but yeah. the pronunciation for that matter is very yeah. desi so was yeah. that an conscious effort while prepping up or it came out very naturally because you were in the rehearsal and lot of other people were in the same zone so uh, one uh, thing i told zoya and zoya was like okay take all these guys uh, so altaf was there mm-hmm. and uh, I used to send WhatsApp voice notes, and right. that's how we used to uh, uh, have a oh, conversation. Yeah. Because in the initial phase, if you start having conversation in a Mumbai uh, Mumbai dialect of right. the way they speak Hindi in Mumbai, yeah. obviously you'll get stuck, uh-huh. and then the, the, the conversation is not flowing. So right. on what happened on voice uh, WhatsApp when you are having that chat, yeah, you I can actually process. I'll be like, okay, isko aise bolenge, and I'll send it. Right. And when they send back their reply. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I always have it in my chat, so every time I want to hear it, mm-hmm. and then uh, practically, like for at least six to seven, eight hours a day, we were like chilling together the entire day. They were like, we'll sit in my living room. They will come. They will 
jam they will uh, get into impromptu rap and uh, it was it, it was amazing so i took a very organic approach sort of and then obviously they guided me in the, in the how a particular word where they cut it where it shot because uh-huh. mumbai mumbai is not as clean hindi yes it's not bola la me exactly it's not me it's me me yeah it's bola la me chal raha hu there way so it, that was a process for uh, developing me that's amazing that way, yeah. I um, mean that that goes on to show, you know, that as I've spoken to a couple of them who have come out of uh, professionally learning acting from institutes yeah. uh, within Mumbai or mm-hmm. abroad or across the country, there are multiple. There's one thing very common that if they want to pick up something, the first instinct is to pick it up organically. They do not want to enforce. Yeah. They do not want to uh, rehearse and just listen and pick it up. They actually put in time and effort, take that weeks and days of a real conversation or yeah. be in that setting to to feel that yeah. character oh ye aise hai ye aise baat karta hoga karti hogi and all of that that's that's really beautiful correct and talking about paglet last friday we saw right even though the screen time is not like yeah. compared to others but i still feel the screen time has been very smartly right. divided amongst all the characters who are part of that film now right when, right right what i want to really right. understand you play the character of aditya were you approached for this part directly or right. you found out and you went through that auditioning process for this so what happened was uh, guneet ma'am uh, actually uh, so she's in the oscar committee right so uh-huh. she has seen gali boy obviously right. Right. and they were like are you gali boy jo actor hai i mean uh-huh. like that's how it becomes a visiting yeah. card yeah. usko bulao i think wo aa dete ke liye sahi hai uh-huh. so they uh, then they uh, put me on tape and then they set up a meeting yeah. with uh, umesh sir Uh-huh. and that's how then he narrated the story to me and then i was like okay can i take the script and uh-huh. guneet ma'am's name because i am uh, like i'm slowly and whenever the opportunity arises my idea is to do crossover cinema mm-hmm. that is something what i want to do and uh, one of the names which is from indian filmmakers mm-hmm. i knew that uh, guneet ma'am is someone i would really love to associate myself with because uh, you know she i mean the films like period end of sentence the documentary and then the film masan i mean there, there are many but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's the one who's a flag bearer for indian yeah. cinema when it comes 100%. to crossover spaces 100% so yeah. is there an added pressure when you yeah, yeah. you go on set yeah. and you feel there are veterans like ashutosh rana raghuveer yadav jamil khan rajesh telang and these people shiva chadda ma'am honestly uh, i don't want to be pompous about it but i never feel it as a pressure because see my mindset is i am technically going out and learning something yes you understand so it actually becomes an exciting project mm-hmm. the the time you come to know that there are there are actors who are like you know well celebrated yeah. across yeah. the country and they yeah. prove the metal and somehow because when you see when you're working with those actors your sensitivity as an actor mm-hmm. towards understanding a particular scene towards understanding each and every beat yeah. improves right so if when i worked on puglet then when i went on to do farre and candy mm-hmm. you it's not like oh this was this learning was only for for uh, for uh, right. uh, puglet and just you know rub yeah. it off and then move on yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just one process after the other okay you pick up something oh what shiba ma'am said that day yeah i remember having most beautiful conversation with shiba ma'am over a cup of tea yeah. on sets yeah, yeah yeah and that just changes your perspective as a human being also yeah yeah i can imagine So you know your your sort of understanding. Ultimately, what happens is your understanding of life comes very handy when you're reading any script or something. Ultim, I mean, that's the crux okay. of the matter. Fantastic. One last question before we move on to our game section. Your way of Hindi compared to yeah. all others in that family is yeah. again slightly different. Yeah. But it's definitely not again yeah. Mumbai Hindi. It has that right. northern slang or a northern touch to it. but it's exactly not yeah. that deep as others have it yeah so there again uh, as soon as uh, this puglet happened i was like yeah. where is my dialect coach <laughs> i was straight away production i was like no i'm not <laughs> touching this without having a dialect coach yeah. so then when we, i was working with the dialect coach and we started making notes and then uh, i called him i think umesh sir had gone for recce at that time okay. so i i spoke with him and i was like okay sir uh, this is what we do and like uh, nakul the thing is you are not in lucknow Mm-hmm. uh so the entire background of our family moved to delhi mm-hmm. okay and when we were really young yeah so 
is like see the when you move to a different city the city starts rubbing on to you mm-hmm. so that is the balance we sort of try to maintain mm. that uh, nice uh, so we only kept uh, i remember that uh, hum now why we kept hum was basically when uh, see parents are from there right yeah. so in when in the family will be operating in a day to day basis right. they'll be like are nahi humne khana kha liya hai aap kha lijiye na hamari abhi hamare ko bhook nahi hai right so this is the way they will be talking in delhi exactly i end up observing this small nuances somehow and then for that's me, beautiful <laughs> for me oh, thank you so much you uh, as like as salman because that's where i saw you last yeah. uh, especially in a movie yeah. so for me that salman bombay satar and that slang suddenly seeing you delivering hum yeah. that nawabi though it's not a nawabi yeah. style but north wala yeah. hum north wala hindi it felt yeah. like my god is worked on his right. like he's worked on his dialogue and dialect is definitely improved i felt so happy that you know it's not just that upar upar se superficial layer of work done and that's what makes yeah. me happy when i see that kitna andar tak kaam kiya hai bande ne and that that makes me really feel thank happy you so that's much. beautiful great thank you for sharing i'm honored like our small small little things yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. so we have a small game and uh, it's called 7 seconds okay. with nakul name your three favorite footballers messi ronaldo and iniesta all right um three favorite holiday destinations uttarakhand that's mm-hmm. again in uh, anything to do with mountains nice. uh then i really like kosamoy mm-hmm. uh i enjoyed there a lot mm-hmm. and uh, then third one i went to this place called vasukital that's the last village after that is tibet border lovely um your three favorite books books 11 minutes mm-hmm. zahir these two are by polo polo mm-hmm. and uh, tuesday with morris nice nice um your three favorite movies yeah uh scarface mm-hmm. uh godfather series nice and top gun Yes, <laughs> I would have been surprised yeah. if you wouldn't have mentioned Top Gun. Top Gun changed a lot of It's things impossible. for you in your life. <laughs> It's impossible. Yes. Yeah. Um, three favorite TV or web series? Uh, Breaking Bad, my most favorite. The beautiful character arcs and everything. Yeah. Uh, then was uh, the second one, uh, which one I enjoyed really? Uh, Patal Lok. You know, mm-hmm. Indian series. If I talk about Patal Lok, I really enjoyed. and uh, third one money heist three things you can't live without materialistic stuff materialistic stuff yeah. oh i have lots but <laughs> okay uh, my speaker because i cannot perform without it okay. i need my music always around me uh-huh. uh, then um, my sunglasses mm. and uh, the third one would be my ipad because my script is there there three new things you learned during the lockdown phase one is uh, uh the forced patience so hmm. I, now i can at least be like okay if someone says uh, yeah parso milte hain to i'm like ha theek hai parso hi hai other i'll be like jab ye aaj kaam khatam hone wala hai to hum aaj kyun nahi kar rahe right <laughs> you know uh, so that is one thing and uh, uh, again see what happens is when uh, when we are seeing something which you with all your mind and heart think this is the worst thing that can ever happen to you yeah. but actually after just just wait for a while right. it actually serves you better okay. i remember because i signed uh, this web series called farre okay we started shooting and uh-huh. lockdown happened yeah that was my first series uh, first project which is like an out and out solo lead everything and you were like you know like yeah. why yeah 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 but then what happened was because there is a bihari dialect to it i was like okay i mean let me work more on that right and definitely it actually like lockdown in a way it actually helped me because once lockdown got over we got into the filming of that mm-hmm. uh, it was it was it was like uh, see the the thing with dialects is mm-hmm. it's very easy to speak any dialect if you are just sticking to the lines but yeah. you have to go the organic way because if they mostly what they do is the supporting cast they always try and balance it out with the people who are known to that area yeah, or yeah, you can yeah. to yeah. at least speak that dialect if you don't know organically your uh-huh. room for improvisation is killed correct 
Correct. Otherwise, I have to just stick to this is written, and then I'll be like, boss, yeah. you know, I cannot <laughs> add. Hmm, ha ha. Yeah, you're frozen. Kya, yeah. Yeah. Kya, yeah. Right. Right. Because all of that comes with when you just speak something which is off the, uh, off the script. You're correct. You prepare. You you go overboard and you prepare yourself two hundred percent. So, my other lockdown. बॉम्बे में निकला था आधा उदयपुर में तो जब मैं उदयपुर पहुंचा मुझे खुली जगह दिखी गार्डन दिखा था लाइक मुझे यहाँ पे अभी छोटा स्विमिंग पूल बना रहा है माइपेरेंट्स uh then i went into taking care of the entire civil work getting the swimming pool completed so i mm-hmm. i think if that Some counts yeah, yeah, yeah something which i learned definitely yeah, that. It, it definitely counts 100% and uh, one last thing would be three things yeah. you would want yeah. people to know about you okay when is horrible <laughs> uh, so i cannot see people uh, sleeping while i'm awake so i'm going to try and come up with all possible excuses to wake you up Okay. <laughs> okay. And that's how I learned cooking. So what used to happen with most of my ex-girlfriends is like I'll wake them up uh-huh. because I'm quite an early riser. Uh-huh. So if you directly go and wake them up, obviously you know the flowery language which comes out. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I have a great idea. I'll I'll put I'll make breakfast. Then I'll take it and yeah. like wake up. Yeah. So obviously they're groggy, but when they say that I've put in so much effort, yeah. they sort of mellow yeah. out. So I have my own diplomatic tricks <laughs> to sort of. Love get away with that but yeah and I'm, i'm like i cannot see people sleeping okay one is that another one is uh, i i take my scripts on a ride so the, the my after my first or second read like one or two reads mm-hmm. because that's where i get most of my ideas i don't okay. know why it's that mm-hmm. uh i'll take like two three spin just like so because you have just finished reading so uh-huh. that is brewing in your head and yeah. that always gives me good ideas Nice. when i'm either driving or being uh, driven around nice uh two and three uh okay so uh, boxing is actually me trying to control my temperament mm. uh so that is like one hour of bag work is just something which like okay just take out this aggression out of me and so that i can the 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 image what people have about me this guy who smiles and is always happy or lucky like, <laughs> that that be maintained <laughs> it's good it's good venting out in that 60 minutes it's way better than venting out in parts and parcel throughout the day much better yeah parts and parcel <laughs> in real life <laughs> absolutely lovely you've been very candid and very honest thank you so much for sharing that um Yeah. Are there any upcoming projects which you can officially share? Where 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 can we see you next on screen? I can share the names with you, and uh, again, they'll be very different. We'll be having same kind of conversations when okay. those projects will come out. Okay. So one is called Farre. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's in uh, that's based in the heartland of Bihar, right. and another one is called Candy, mm-hmm. and uh, that's up in the mountains in uh, oh. Nainital and Manali, and uh, that's another. world these guys have created i really hope that we get to see yeah. one or both of the series within 2021 for sure that is happening yeah. for sure oh lovely that's yeah. amazing because uh, i the way cases are going i don't know how much post production and the whole lockdown scenario will work out within the nation right now but <laughs> really fingers crossed i really want fingers and crossed. i hope that this comes out and we get to see you more We wish you all the Thank very so very best. It was pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for taking out the time to speak with us today. Thank you so much, Sora, for having me there, and uh, I wish Binge Bari's all the success. I just hope I get to meet you more often, and then uh, people actually uh, start to watching Binge Bari's because uh-huh. it's more candid. It's right. not something <laughs> I don't have a script, you don't have a script, and we just hey, gel. Exactly. It's, uh, it's based the, on good content. It's the vibe that you know. Do those bed ke baat kare, and that's the vibe which excites me the most. And that's the best part of it. Exactly. Lovely speaking to you, Sorb. Uh, Take care. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. Did you enjoy this conversation? Comment down below and leave your thoughts. Also, do not forget to subscribe to Binge Buddies for more such candid conversations.